Oh, Pinball Quest, I really wanted to like you, but you make it so difficult. Pinball's a tough thing to get right in the video game. Between getting the physics right and having a good table design, there's a lot of subtle things that you can get wrong. And Pinball Quest not only gets them all wrong, they get some new things wrong. Pinball Quest has three tables and one special mode. The tables are all divided up into two screen areas, and they have upper and lower flippers. But you have to move the flippers yourself between those positions. So you hit up on the control pad to move the flippers to the upper section of the board. It's just as awkward and off-putting as it sounds. And the table designs are bad in ways that I don't think I've ever seen before. Pop Pop is a bowling and billiards themed table. Not that you can really tell, except that they have a few bowling pins scattered around. On this table, the big bonus mode is that you knock down all of the bowling pins and then enter the hole. That'll pop you onto the billiards table, where you have to press down to rotate the shot angle around, and then hit A to shoot the ball. You can only shoot it in the cardinal directions, so it's entirely possible for the ball to come to rest at a point where you can't do anything except scratch. The theme is a bit more apparent on Viva Golf. Here you want to knock all of the gophers down the hole, and then get into the hole up top. The problem with this table is that the layout has these huge water hazards, and when you hit one the ball is placed back on the field. It makes for a more boring table to play. Circus is all about a slot machine for some reason. Hit the jackpot on the slots and you can wind up in this mini game where you have to capture animals. The layout of these tables don't really have good lines for shots. Like how are you supposed to hit the bowling pin on the left here? To make up for that, the lanes have this tendency to suck the ball in. And that makes it feel like the ball is floating above the play field rather than being part of it. As you play, the A button is used for the plunger and the right flipper, while hitting left on the D-pad is the left flipper. The B button and hitting right nudge the table, although I saw absolutely no effect on the ball when I nudged. That brings me to the other mode, the reason that Pinball Quest exists, RPG mode. In RPG mode, your goal is to advance through six tables and defeat Satan. On every table there's a boss enemy, although they may not be there at first. And you have to hit the boss enemy with the ball until they run out of hit points and drop a key. Once you collect the key, you're automatically sucked up into the exit and sent on to the next board. But in between, you have the opportunity to buy power-ups. You can get stoppers that go in out lanes, or upgrade your flippers to do more damage. Defeating the smaller enemies will let you build up power, which makes you do more damage when you strike the boss. The big catch is that if the ball drains on any table after the first, you go back one table. When that happens, the ball is just dropped in at the starting point for that table. So you could wind up losing a lot of progress very quickly. If you drain on the first table, then you can just drop back in at the cost of your built up power. To use the power ups, you have to hit the select button, and then you can choose to activate them. Most of the stoppers go away after they've been hit once, but there is a very expensive option for a reusable stopper. Also, you can choose to try to rob the store, and while you'll get sent back a table, you can get away with a few power-ups. Of course, if you actually wanted to buy a power-up like a chump, then you can earn some money by hitting targets. Your cash is effectively your score. It's so easy to lose all of your progress on the RPG mode, that really I think the best option is to just slowly earn up cash for the big power-ups and only buy those. The table design in RPG mode reflects the same quality that we saw in the standalone tables. You see the same issues with the ball just getting sucked up ramps, and some truly bizarre layouts like this lane in the middle of the second board, where because of how it's blocked, you're pretty much guaranteed to drain if you shoot up it. Pinball Quest is one of the more frustrating games I've played lately. It's not just because it's a bad pinball game, it's because I keep making a little bit of progress and then getting dumped all the way back to zero. An RPG-themed pinball table isn't the worst idea. In fact, there's several out there that are perfectly fine. Pinball Quest RPG mode is just poorly thought out, and it's in a game with terrible pinball physics and table design. What RPG mode did was take a bad game and make it worse.